So you know when you guys have that awesome video idea that you just cannot wait to film but there's just no one around to help you film it. Me being as impatient as I am, I have figured out some really creative and innovative ways to shoot videos completely by yourself. Today we're going to be shooting a really fun idea all by myself, of myself, and I'm going to show you guys a couple of creative techniques to get shots even like this one, which hopefully turned out cool because I haven't actually filmed it yet and this segment won't make sense if the idea that I have didn't work really well, but I'm sure it will, so that shot is what we're going to show you how to get today. And then towards the end of this video, we're going to show you the entire sequence of what we filmed once it's edited, put together with music and all that good stuff to make a little edited piece. So stick around, we're gonna head out and go and shoot some awesome content. Oh, by the way, forgot to mention, it is so nice to be back in the studio. This is the first video that I'm filming in here in probably around 10 months. I've been out of Cape Town and to have the setup again, amazing. Let's pack the bags. Let's head on out into the mountains and create our solo cinematic B-roll. Okay, we're going to be shooting something slightly different today. We're going to be shooting like a little rock climbing bouldering section over here where our scene is basically going to be that I'm walking up the path, climb up onto the top of the rock, and then we'll get some cool shots of like revealing the view. I'm going to be shooting on my Sony a7S III with a Sigma 24 to 70 f2.8. And the only other pieces of gear that I would really recommend is number one, a tripod, because when you guys are filming by yourself, it's going to be very difficult to get some like dynamic shots if all of your angles are from your camera being placed on the ground. So a tripod is kind of essential when you're doing solo B-roll. It just allows you to get like up off the ground, different angles that you guys want. And the other piece of gear that I'm gonna be using today is this Nissi filter set. It's really unique and cool how they have set it up. This is a variable ND that you guys can swap around, but then it also comes with a couple of different pro mist filters and they just snap on just like that. So you can change them really quick and easy. Makes it really nice when you guys wanna change it when you're going through and like shooting on the fly. The thing that this is gonna do is I'll show you guys a demo quick, clip quick and the sun is still up. So basically I can set my exposure nice and it's gonna just set off our highlight blooms and make it really nice and soft and gives it like kind of a vintagey feeling. I'm gonna be shooting with a quarter. You can also get an eighth if you don't want it to be as strong. Okay, so we got our tripod set up and the first thing that I'm gonna do is try and introduce some movement into my shot because when everything is gonna be filmed by yourself, it's gonna be locked off. So just before I actually start shooting some shots of myself, I'm gonna get some scenery shots to give the viewer an idea of where we are and it's the perfect time for me to just introduce some nice movement and like kind of flow into that edit. So nothing too crazy. I'm gonna get something here punching forward of the sun and I'm shooting everything in 120 FPS so that I can slow it down. My handheld shots will end up being really nice and smooth. Maybe I can get in a more zoomed in one down here and get these kind of little branches blowing in the wind. Looks quite cool. Blowing around and I can slow that down. It's going to look really nice. And then I'll also do a wider one looking out like into the view with the sun coming over the side. Get our focus down in the mountains and I'll do a slide as well. And then one of the actual boulder that we're going to be climbing, which is just off here, I'll get a nice zoomed in shot and kind of show like a premonition of kind of where we're going. And it looks quite cool with this foreground. The simplest way to make your shot easier is just getting some foreground in that shot. So I'll get some of these bushes moving and a zoomed in one and I'll get my focus on the rock. And that's gonna look quite cool. And I'll do the exact same thing 
with a really wide one, avoiding my shadow. And just a nice punch forward like this. I think that's gonna be cool. And next, I'm gonna start shooting some actual shots of me walking before we get to the really exciting shot of the camera flying past me, which I showed you guys in the beginning of this video. Um, hopefully that works. Hopefully we don't smash our camera. So let's start getting some shots of me walking. The first one I wanna do is just a shot from right behind me as I walk to the rock, just to give the viewer a nice idea of kind of where we're going. So tripod coming into action right now, and I'm gonna get a little bit high off the ground. So the one thing I'm gonna do, because I'm filming myself, I can add some digital zoom in and out, as well as pans. So I'm gonna frame my shots just ever so slightly wider than I actually want the final version to be so that I can zoom them in and out. I'm gonna be walking with my little chalk bag and bouldering shoes. You can hit record and just walk in frame like this. I'm just gonna check if I got focus for some shots that are tricky ones I got. There's a lot of bushes and stuff here and something about filming by yourself, it is a little bit tedious. You need to make sure that you got your shot. If you don't know, you can't ask your cameraman if you got it or not. So it helps just to check it. Looks like the Sony a7S III did what the Sony does and nailed focus. The next one we're gonna get, keeping continuity of keeping this in my left hand and I'm gonna get a nice side angle shot of me just walking up. So we slightly zoomed in for this one, kind of a close up of me just walking past the frame. And again, for this one, I can digitally zoom in a little bit and then pan with me just to keep that movement going so the edit doesn't like stop too hard. I'll get a record going on here and I'll just walk past that little bit. Okay, nice and simple, nothing too crazy. So much of what we're trying to focus on when we're shooting solo B-roll is just keeping your composition really nice. Put, put a couple more seconds into each composition that you set up because you can't trick the audience with any like crazy big movements of like moving around. So the only thing you can really do is make sure that that composition looks visually pleasing. Put a little bit extra time into it. Here's the thing. I'm sure you guys are wondering how we got like crazy movement that's of me, I'm clearly not touching the camera. We're doing away with this. If you guys watch some of our other solo B-roll videos, you might have seen this little contraption before. Basically, it's a zip line. I'm gonna attach the camera and I'm not doing it with my Sony a7S III. I got my little a6300 here because the chances of this smashing into a rock or something are pretty high and I'm not willing to risk it with my main setup. But basically, we're gonna have it like this. We can put this cable and the idea is, is that I'm gonna tie the cable around a loop and back to myself so that as I walk, it pulls the camera towards me and comes past me, creating the effect that you guys saw in that shot. So let's see if we can set this up quickly. It might be a little tricky and take some trial and error. Let me give you guys a little rundown on what we have going on here. For any of you guys that want to make this, this is like a piece of wood with a ball head and some string. I think total you're going to be like $5 in, aside from the ball head. But we got the foofy slide on here, we got the camera on the bottom. And then we've created a little pulley that's tying itself to the camera. So as I pull on this one, it's going to pull the camera up with me like this. And that means as I walk, it's gonna pull the camera and the camera's gonna be tracking me from the side, which is gonna end up looking really, really cool. So let's give it a go. My only worry is that the wind is quite strong right now. And it's kind of like jiggling the camera all over the place. But let's see, we're gonna shoot in a high frame rate. Maybe we can get a little bit of slow motion that is gonna look like a nice shot. And you might also be able to see the string which is a bit of a problem, but it's gonna be okay for like a wide shot. Okay, so I'm gonna start here, and as I walk, let me get my hand back a bit, and I know it doesn't like go the same speed, but when you are just taking a small little section with movement, I think it's gonna look really cool. Okay, one of my favorite tricks with solo B-roll 
is using your tripod as kind of like a selfie stick thing. And because our last two shots were relatively wide, I want our next shot to be somewhat of a close up. So I'm just gonna tilt it down like this. I can flip my camera upside down and get a shot of my feet walking that will look like someone else kind of filmed it because it's gonna have all that movement in it. So we can frame it up like this. And then I'm gonna leave my chalk bag and we can kind of just walk like this and it's gonna seem like someone else is filming it. And I can wrap it around to the side as well. And I think that's gonna look really, really cool. We just have another way of introducing that movement. I'm gonna do the same thing again with my chalk bag, except for this one, I'm gonna get a nice close up of my hand, kind of holding it like this. I'm gonna flip this upside down like this and then kind of just look back on my hand like this and as long as you're not seeing what my other arm is doing you can have no idea that I filmed this myself so I think that's looking really cool and then I'm just gonna go ahead and walk have that jaw kind of flopping around it hits a bush or something over here it can be on the side a bit more and then I'm gonna keep it going and when I get here I'm just gonna drop it down and get that shot of it. The next shot that I want to have in our sequence is just a shot of me kind of arriving to the rock that I'm going to climb and looking at it, I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my last movement where I put the chalk bag down and I can use those two shots together and cut between them. And then I'll just walk into frame. And that's gonna be really, really nice. The other shot that I do wanna get just to make it a little more personalized is a shot of my face as I'm looking at the rock. So I'll line it up to get a shot of my face. And it's just gonna have a nice effect that kind of like shows that it's me looking at this rock that I'm about to climb. Let me see where my framing is gonna be nice, about here. And then kind of just look around. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy off of the tripod for a second so that I can get a nice shot of my little bag being put down. And I think it's gonna be a little tricky to get through the bushes. There's something like this. Hmm. I can use this just to balance it up a bit. Still using the tripod, just not in the way it was intended for. We can get like that. Get my focus on the bag. Because our sequence is gonna play out the way that I walked, I came up here and I put this down. So I'm gonna do that exact same thing. Come here, drop it down, and then be looking at the rock. And that's just gonna be a nice close-up detail. It's always important to try and get different variety of shots. You guys don't want only wide shots or close-up shots. Next up in our sequence, we're going back on the tripod and I want a little shot of me just putting my shoes on and then I'm gonna grab some chalk out of the chalk bag which is gonna make a really cool like dust effect as I clap my hands together. I'm gonna to start moving a little bit fast now because the sun is about to dip behind that mountain and I wanna get some climbing shots before it does. So if I'm right here, it's gonna be kind of like a shot of my feet, not too much of me. So I can see the camera nicely there and I'm just gonna get a shot of kind of putting the shoes on. And it's not a close up, but it's a little bit of a detail shot. So I can pull these off. Dramatic. Get one shoe on. And I'll probably only use a second or two of this, but I'll still do the whole sequence because when I'm cutting it up, I can see which part of this whole thing I like the most. And I'm only talking to you guys right now because I can't see my mouth. But I'll see what I like the most and I'll use that little segment. And for this, I'm actually just going to do a way more zoomed in shot of this little strap. I can move this tripod. Way more zoomed in. And then I'm just going to get this strap being pulled over for an even more detailed shot like that. And then step out and walk away. 
and that's gonna look super nice. Close up little detail shot. And now we can actually get to climbing the rock, see if we can get over this like ledge like this. Gonna be interesting to film, gonna be interesting to climb. So let's see how it goes. Oh, before we do that, we need to get a shot of the chalk bag. One of the most critical shots, because it's gonna look sick. For you guys that don't know, just for rock climbing, you have some chalk to make your hands dry, but it looks like this and it's gonna look really cool in the shot. So I've set up my angle to have the sun almost directly behind it so that the chalk is gonna be right in front of it and we're gonna get the most out of that kind of like flare. And I'm just gonna hold like this, get my hands in it. The shot is looking really cool already. And then I'm gonna take them out and just do this. I'm gonna do it once more and do like a more dramatic clap one. Okay, so I'm gonna get a nice wide shot and I'm gonna climb the whole like first half of the thing in one go. And then I'm gonna film close-ups of each little piece and we can cut them with each other and it will work well. So the first one's just gonna be a long clip and I'll set up nice and wide looking down into the valley. Okay, I'm gonna stop here and get the second shot from a different angle. Get like a nice big full wide one. I just wanted that one to show the like overhang part. I think that's gonna look really nice. Now I'm doing like a full wide and I'm just gonna climb over again. Dude, that's hard. Okay, I'm gonna get one or two close-ups now before the sun changes too much. And the first one I'm getting is just of my hand that's gonna be grabbing this top rock because I think it looks quite cool like from the bottom looking up. <laughs> and then that's all I'll need. <laughs> this is a bit of a workout. And then I'll get another close-up. And I also want a shot of the sun disappearing because that's quite cool. But let's first get just a close up of me putting my hands onto these rocks like I'm starting. I think it'll look quite cool from here. Need to be a little quick now. I'll get a fully zoomed in shot. So I'll start low down for this one. And it doesn't really matter what my feet are doing. And I'm just gonna go up for that. And then I'll let my hand leave as well. I'm gonna get one more shot of the sun here because it's dipping behind the mountain and it looks really cool. It's also kind of just like an indication that the time is passing and that we've maybe been here for a while, not just climbing that one time that you actually saw it. So I think I just want a little shot here, some of this foreground to get, the, to get some movement in our frame. And whenever I want the foreground to be blowing in the wind, the wind stops. <laughs> But something that you can notice here really nicely is the highlight bloom. Something really nice here is the highlight bloom you can notice. Here's our wind. And the sun is really nice and soft and that's because of our filter. And even if I was to take this off, you guys can see it looks way like sharper and harsh on the highlights compared to that. That looks really nice. And the next things that we're gonna do is start getting some shots from actually on top of the rock of me coming over the edge and that's gonna be the ending of our video. And then we can get to the part where I show you guys what we actually were able to create. So let's go around onto the top and set up our shot. Okay, I'm just getting one more nice close up of my hand coming up onto the top and then I'm gonna get a wide of me actually standing up. Sorry about the wind. Okay, so. <sighs> Okay, and then really quickly before the sun disappears, let's get a nice big wide shot of me coming over and looking out into the distance, which is gonna be our ending shot. Filming solo B-roll in a hurry is never a good idea because it takes way longer. We need one more shot from the bottom. We still have a little bit of light. Let's see if we can get it quickly and then we are gonna be done. Okay, one super wide shot from down here to show the whole scenery. And I'm just gonna walk to the edge of the rock for that ending.
Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, for our actual ending shot, I'm just gonna get a nice shot of the sun that's like actually dipping behind the mountain. And I'll pull back nicely here to reveal some of this foreground. Kind of like the view as if I was seeing it. And that is going to be our ending. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little behind the scenes. Let's take a look at how the whole thing actually looks together once we've edited it with music, effects and everything put together like that. Remember to take note of the nice soft light and everything that is created by the Nissi filter. If you guys want to find out more about this, it's going to be linked in the description. It's a really nice filter set even just for variable NDs if you guys don't want the mist filters as well. But let's roll that little video and see what you guys think. Was it. I hope you guys think it was cool. It was really fun shooting it and really nice and fresh to shoot something unique. I've really, never really filmed something like a rock climbing thing before. So I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed filming it and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.